All right, everyone, buckle up, because today we are diving deep, deep into the murky waters of relationships. Oh, yeah. Specifically, we're looking at an advice column all about. Ooh, advice columns. Dealing with a partner who can't seem to tell the truth. You know those ones? Even, even when you've got the receipts. You got the evidence right there. Yeah. They still deny, deny, deny. The evidence is right there, but they're like, nope. Didn't happen. So whether you're dealing with this yourself. Or maybe. Or you just want to be prepared. Yeah, just that case. This deep dive is for you. Get that relationship wisdom. Exactly. So this advice column is really interesting because it goes beyond just calling out the lies. Yeah. It talks about this concept called gaslighting. 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 And that's basically when someone tries to manipulate you yeah. into doubting your own sanity. Like making you feel crazy. Exactly. It's like, you know, the sky is blue, right. but they're insisting it's green. You're like, but I can see it. You're like, one of my crazy. It's right there. It's wild. And there's this line in the column that really stuck with me. Okay. What is it? It says, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, how many times do we have to see that green sky? Right. How many times? Before we're like, hmm, something's not right here. Yeah, like maybe I need to get my eyes checked or maybe... You need to check your partner. Maybe you need to check your partner. Exactly. But do you think that applies just to romantic relationships? Ooh, good question. Or could we broaden that out? I think it's pretty universal. Yeah. Because whether it's a friend... A family member, a coworker, right? Anyone, really? If they're constantly showing you a green sky, exactly. If you're seeing these consistent patterns of behavior, yeah, those speak volumes. They do. And the advice column really emphasizes that it's not just about the lie itself, right? It's about the audacity to lie, even when you've got them dead to rights. The doubling down. The doubling down. Yeah, it's like I'm not only going to lie to you, I'm going to insult your intelligence. While I'm at it. It's that disrespect and that erasion of trust. Exactly. That's the real red flag. That's the real problem. Not even just the lie. It's the whole package. The package deal. The package deal. You don't want that. And the column uses this great analogy about dirty dishes. Ooh, tell me about the dishes. So imagine someone's constantly leaving their dirty dishes everywhere. Okay, I've lived with people like this. And you've talked to them about it. Many times. It's like, hey, could you please put your dishes in the dishwasher? Yes. But then you come home. And there they are. And there's a sink full of dirty dishes. And then you confront them and they're like, what dishes? What are you talking about? But a straight face. Like, you're crazy. So it's not really about the dishes, is it? No, it's not about the dishes. It's about something bigger. It's a microcosm yeah. of a larger issue. Exactly. Those small lies and denials. Yeah. They can be signs of deeper problems. Like a lack of respect for you. Right. A disregard for your feelings. And your boundaries. Exactly. It's not okay. So what do you do when you're faced with this mountain of metaphorical dirty dishes? A mountain of dishes. The advice column gives us some options. Oh, good, because I need some help. And they're pretty solid. Okay, lay them on me. Okay, so first up, therapy. Therapy? Okay. Either individually or as a couple. Right. It can be really helpful to unpack those communication patterns. Unpack all that baggage. And figure out what's really going on. Get to the root of the problem. It's like a relationship tune-up. I like that. A relationship tune-up. Get everything running smoothly again. Get those gears turning. Then they're setting boundaries. Boundaries are so important. So important. Those clear lines in the sand. You got to draw that line in uh, the sand. And having consequences. Consequences, exactly. So it's about saying, this is what I will and will not tolerate. This is my line you shall not cross. And if they keep crossing those lines, yeah. that tells you a lot. That tells you everything you need to know. About where their priorities lie. And whether they respect you. Exactly. Oh, oh. The column also talks about documenting everything. <laughs> documenting interesting. Which I know sounds a bit intense. Yeah, a little bit. But sometimes. Sometimes it's necessary. Especially if legal issues are involved. Right, like if you're thinking about separating or something. Exactly, you need that paper trail. Protect yourself. And lastly, the column encourages you to really think. Okay. About whether you're okay mm. living with that constant suspicion. That's a good point. Like walking on eggshells. Because who wants to live like that? Right. Is that the kind of relationship you want? It's exhausting. It really is. And then the advice column drops this truth bomb. Oh, yes. It says, sometimes the trash takes itself out, but sometimes you got to be the garbage collector. That's powerful. It is, right? It's like a visual. I could see it. It's about knowing your worth yes. and refusing to stay in a toxic situation. You deserve better. You deserve better, exactly. And sometimes walking away is the best thing you can do for yourself.
the healthiest choice. It's not easy, but it's necessary sometimes. And to really drive that point home. Hit it home. The column asks this killer question. I love these questions that make you think. Would you let your best friend stay in this situation? Ooh, that's a good one. Makes you think, doesn't it? It does. It really makes you examine yeah. your... Your own standards. Are you accepting things that you shouldn't be accepting? Exactly. Are you settling? So after all this deep diving... We've gone deep. What's the biggest takeaway for our listeners? I think the biggest thing is trust your gut. Trust your gut. If something feels off, yeah. pay attention. Don't ignore those red flags. Those red flags are waiting for a reason. They're trying to tell you something. Listen to them. You deserve to be in a relationship. Absolutely. Built on honesty and respect. You are worthy of that. And sometimes the most loving act. The most loving thing you can do. Is choosing yourself. You got it. So on that note. A note of self-love. We'll leave you with this question. Oh, I love a good question. What are your non-negotiables in a relationship? Ooh, those are the big ones. The things you absolutely will not compromise on. The deal breakers. Think about it. Give it some thought. That's all the time we have for this deep dive. Time flies when you're having fun. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.